The Chicago Bears signed tight end Gerald Everett to a two-year, $12 million deal. What does this add to the Bears team, and why does this move make sense? We'll talk about all that more in today's episode of the Windy City Breeze Sports Talk Daily. Let's go. Now, if you are new to the channel, please like the video. Please subscribe to the page. We do talk Chicago sports daily on this channel. It's the only channel to talk Chicago sports, how Chicago talk. So make sure that you get in tune with us, man. Chicago Bears go out and sign tight end Gerald Everett to be their guy opposite of Cole Komet. The reason I say opposite of Cole Komet, I think Shane Walter wants to get back to some of the bases that he had in that second year there in Seattle, that first year with Geno Smith, where a ton of 12 personnel ton of ability to use twin tight end sets, ton of ability to get multiple guys involved. We really didn't see as much of that last season. And I think that, listen, he wants to get back to the things that are making him, that made him successful that first year. Bears needed a backup tight end here. I think that this is a great get for the Chicago Bears. I know the yards are low. When you look at a guy like Gerald Everett, He's been uh, um, most yards in his career, 555 yards, four touchdowns, right? Nothing crazy when you look at yards, when you look at touchdowns. But when you talk about being someone who's going to be opposite of Cole Komet, I would think a lot coming into this season. Bears wanted to run a lot of 12 personnel last year. And just for some reason, Luke Getze really wasn't big on doing it during the season, even though we had talked about it and he had brought it in and brought in multiple tight ends to do that. Um, it didn't matter to Luke gets in. I think with Shane Waldron, that's going to change this year. The one part that I do love about this though, is the catch percentage for uh, 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 Gerald Everett here. The, the part that I love targeted 71 times la- or 70 times last season caught 51, 72% catch percentage uh and and that has been multiple years in in a row that he's been above 60 percent I mean pretty much since his first year in the NFL he's caught the football at an above 60 percent rate just about over six yards per uh uh, catch 6.7 yards per catch for his career so a good guy a big body a guy that I think probably will get utilized more in this offense than we've seen in the previous offenses that he's been a part of And I think that that kind of goes like this is a move that speaks to me to kind of where free agency is gone. When you look at those guys that you were going to say, okay, who's going to be opposite of DJ Moore? You start to look at some of those names. The wide receiver list has really dried up quickly, right? Darnell Mooney getting a big money deal, which may change the market a little bit. Thirty nine million for Darnell Mooney as he ends up going down to Atlanta and being a part of that team now. And we'll talk about that a little bit as well. Uh, Thoughts on that move. But The fact that you go out and you get another big guy who's got a high catch percentage, who pretty good route runner, big body. I mean, like you're talking about a six foot three, 250 pound guy, right? Like he's going to be able to bring some weight as well, able to go out there and give you some blocking on top of that. I think that Gerald Everett is a good name. I don't think he's an amazing name. I don't think this is an, oh my gosh, move. I don't think this is a great, you got to have this guy, but for the offense that Shane Waldron is running of the names that were out there at the tight end position, right? Noah Fant ends up going back and, and all of those, those kind of names that that you thought, okay, maybe this is a fit with the Bears for what they want to do. Gerald Everett is not a bad name to get. I think he'll get more utilization here. I think he'll probably be around that 500 yard mark as well with Kokomet still being the lead tight end. And realistically speaking, if he is the second tight end in this scenario, he's somebody who can step in for Kokomet in injury. And you know, he's been a starter. He's somebody who can step in and play that number one role. And maybe you play off of Kokomet. There's so many options to me that Gerald Everett brings to this offense. And I do like the fact that the bears were able to go out and get this guy. I do want to know how you guys feel let me know in the comments below what are your thoughts on Gerald Everett now being a Chicago Bear two years 12 million dollars nothing crazy still waiting on the big move still waiting on Daniel Hunter Bears haven't spent a ton of money they're kind of doing the bargain shopping thing but let's see what this all ends up being appreciate you guys (laughs) I don't know why I paused right there hit that like button subscribe to the page y'all know what to do let me know how you guys feel in the comments below Now, this move coming after 
the Bears end up losing out on Darnell Mooney, who ends up going to Atlanta for $39 million, which to me feels like an incredible overpay. I mean, my goodness, it feels like that is the baggy bag. Um, and he's going down there and you, you, you wish him the best, loved his time as a bear, thought that he had some really good years here, thought that he could have been more maybe last year. But I guess here's my question to you, and this was posed to me on the Chicago Bears podcast today. Tune in with us on that as well. Where what with what we're seeing around the league, with the value of Justin Fields' uh, trade capital, with how much Darnell Mooney able to get paid, with Luke Getzey getting picked up, are people kind of looking at the Bears situation and saying we don't think that you guys were the problem? Are they looking at it and saying we think it was Luke Getzey that was the problem? Or are they looking at it and saying that Justin Fields is the problem when you attach the trade value on top of all that as well? The fact that Darnell was able to go out and get $39 million from Atlanta, shout out to you for getting the bag, man. But my goodness, that, that feels like a deal. And not to say Kirk won't be able to utilize him. Kirk won't be able to get the most out of him. But that feels like a deal that, like, you're paying him to come there and be the same guy. Does having Kirk Cousins change that, right? He's still going to be the guy who's behind uh, um, Kyle Pitts on the depth chart. He's still going to be the guy behind Drake London on the depth chart, right? Like, they've got some of their dogs. I mean, I would think receiving-wise, right, you'd probably see see Bijan get more touches than him but for 39 39 million dollars you would hope that he's going to get some good run down there a very interesting candidate to be uh to be picked up there down in uh Atlanta and I did not see I understand Ryan Pace is down there I just didn't see that being a dynamic of them going after and it feels like a pace move you paid a lot more than maybe what most people in the league would have felt Darnell Mooney was worth I think he would have been one of the later wide receivers and shout out to him like I said for resetting this wide receiver market I mean he's getting he's getting some guys paid now with him doing that so the fact that Mooney not here, I think it ties back into Everett. You need it. You, you've got a Tyler Scott. Let's hope we can keep developing Tyler Scott into something. The footwork is nice. The speed is nice, but you got to get the hands nice. The Bears have had trouble with guys getting the hands nice. Probably going to try and address wide receiver through the draft at some point, I would think. Um, and then, of course, right, adding the tight end in is something where we, we've got our answer on if they would have. Is there an opportunity to go Brock Bowers? Probably not at this point. I think you're locked in at the tight end position with these two. And uh, the Bears are getting some of their answers as things are going on. As you're losing pieces, as you're gaining pieces, you're starting to get some of your answers on this field. But I do want to know how you guys feel, man. Let me know in the comments below. What are your thoughts on the Mooney move? What are your thoughts on Gerald Everett? As always, man, it's your boy Pat, the designer, back at it again. Hit that like button, subscribe to the page. Leave that five-star review. Y'all know what to do. Y'all stay safe out of the Chicago. Bear down. Peace.